much. Debt ceiling negotiations continue after they were put on pause earlier today. Meanwhile, the White House is weighing in from Japan on the ongoing negotiations. Willie James Inman tells us more. Hi, everybody. Good morning. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre held a briefing in Japan as talks in Washington over raising the debt limit stalled and then resumed a few hours later. We have serious differences and this is going to continue to be a difficult conversation. That's not lost on us. But the president's team is going to continue to work hard towards a reasonable bipartisan solution. It's just, just unreasonable. Earlier, Republicans walked out of the negotiations as budget issues remain a sticking point. We've got to get movement from the White House. In exchange for raising the nation's borrowing limit, House Republicans want to impose caps that amount to a 13% cut in government spending. We have to spend less than we spent the year before. It's pretty easy. What's wrong? Some Democrats are urging President Biden to consider using the 14th Amendment to go around Republicans. Using this authority would allow the president and the United States to continue to pay its bills on time and without delay as the United States Constitution requires. President Biden will return from Japan on Sunday, cutting his international trip short because of the debt ceiling talks. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Washington. Well, tonight, Republicans say they want steep spending cuts aside from defense and veterans programs, while Democrats say they would greatly affect many other federal programs.